All right, back for hopefully the last installment of the Catch and Dodge game. So I have entered some sounds. I've just searched other people's programs, and I actually recorded one myself. Besides sounds, over here on backdrops, um, I have made a lose backdrop, a win backdrop, and just one for the regular gameplay. And out on the coding, or I'm sorry, I guess I'll go to the cat first and show you that I've actually made a cat with a black eye here and a bump on his head. And then let's talk about the coding out here for a moment. So we're going to go out on the coding. And um, we see that uh, um, I don't really have it touched it yet, but I'm going to start to now. So first of all, uh, let's just go to putting that bump on his head up here for a moment and then getting that switch back. So we're going to go switch costume to two. So as he changed HP to negative one, he switches costume to two. And he also plays the sound, which I'm going to play the sound pulse for right now which means he got hit in the head, all right? Same token down on this bottom one. I'm going to switch costume to costume two, and I'm going to play sound pulse. So when he gets hit in the head, he'll switch a quick costume. He'll play sound pulse. Now, he'll leave that costume on. Notice up here I've initialized the costume, and I've initialized the background, and also I'm playing some music up here, the other type of music I put in. So the only thing we really want to do now is we want to say if I receive tennis or I receive when I receive soccer. Uh, basic concepts here, we want to wait just a little bit, and I'm going to say half a second, and we want to put our costume, our, our normal costume, back on. So we're going to switch costume back to costume one. Okay, I'm going to duplicate that. Oh, it's, dang it, wrong button. So again, when I go here and when I receive soccer, I'm going to wait half a second. And I'm going to put my costume one back on. All right. And now I'm going to duplicate. And I'm going to say when I receive tennis. So this will just change his costume back. So pretty much we've got sound in there. We've got sound effects going in. And we've got a little costume change. The really thing we don't have do it doing is changing backgrounds one way, shape, form, or another. So if he would get all the way through this bit here, that's actually a win. So really all I'm going to do on this one is I'm going to go to looks. And I'm going to say switch backdrop to the win backdrop, which I've called it. And I'm just going to do something called stop all. OK, now if I lose, I actually have to write an if then event for that. So I'm going to say if then and in this case uh, we're going to control. We're going to take a look at HP. So I'm going to set HP if HP happens to equal zero. And there's my HP out of the data menu and I'll type in zero. Then it must be the case that we have lost. And if that's true, then I'm going to go to looks, switch backdrop to lose. I'm going to play a sound called wah wah. And oh, you know what? I'm going to play a sound called wah wah until done because I'm going to use that stop all thing again. I'm going to go back here and I'm going to go back to stop all. So I'm going to slide this in my forever loop right at the bottom of everything else. And I think we're pretty much done. So let's go ahead and run it. There's my nice music. If I get through the wave of 20 and I don't die, then in theory, it should switch background to win. Switching. Oh, there we go. Loser, game over, and then it switched to winner, game over. So I must have won right at the very end. I'll have to check that out to see if it's going on. Let me see if it does that again. So I'll run again on this loser. There we go. So yeah, I must have lost right at the end. So that play sound wah wah until done and then stop all. It must have been right at the end of this one. So I'll have to take a look at what to do with that. But you get the main gist of what we're looking for. That's all for today. Thanks.